Hey guys, so today I am back with an exciting video. Now, this is some Spirit Halloween exclusives. I'm in the UK, obviously. Um, we don't have Spirit Halloween, unfortunately. But there was a shop selling some bits and we popped up there today. So it was the Nerd Nook. I'm going to show you the other bits I got first and then I'm going to show you these side steppers. So, in the back here, you may see a little Hello Kitty peeking out. I bought this. So this is the Hello Kitty Chucky. Um, they haven't got the Tiff one. They're trying to get the Tiff one in as well because obviously they do Hello Kitty and Tiff. Um, they're trying to get the Tiff one in as well, but they haven't got it yet. But it's just absolutely, look at that. The whole outfit, the scars on the face, the scars on the bows. I'm just, it's lush, honestly. So, so cute. So yeah, I picked up that. Then I picked up, so let me, I seen these and I knew I wanted them. So these are the Disney Dorables Villains Rivaling Royals collection. So I will do a shorts on these soon. So they were there. I got them. Then my husband picked up the Living Dead doll ghost face. So... Um, he's pretty cool. He comes with his knife. He's got black boots on. Um, I'm not allowed to open him. I should secretly open him, but he's, he's by you playing FIFA. <laughs> so yeah, he's got black boots on and it's, stand, it's a standalone one. He's got his knife, his head moves, I know that, and it's pretty cool. Some of the living dead dolls they do is absolutely amazing. So you've got, that's the back of the box, the side of the box. And then I'll put it down now before I break it. Now this is the bit. This is the interesting bit you all want to see. So these are side steppers from Spirit Halloween. As soon as I seen these, I know I knew I needed to go and get them. So this is Ghostface. Comes in this box. There's the Spirit Halloween. And are you ready? So you press him. Is so cool. I'm press him again. He's got all blood down his face. He's got his cloak on, obviously. The knife has got blood splatters on. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's better. Yeah, and that's the box there. Box on the side. I don't know whether to take these out yet. I haven't decided whether they're going to be taken out of their packaging and put on a shelf or staying in their packaging on the shelf. I don't know yet. And then the next one is my husband's favorite. So this is Sam from Trick or Treat. Now, I do find there's more detail into the Sam one because obviously he's got his hood, his burlap hood and things like that. Um, but ready. And he's got his lolly. Can you see? see that one goes on a bit longer but you can feel as you press them you can feel their feet moving so I'm, I'm presuming they move like to the side sort of thing um but yeah I do really like that and you can just press them on and off so halfway through there we go see so now it's lollies showing better so yeah I like I'm just amazed at the stuff I was so excited when I got them they did have the Chucky um Halloween Horror Nights Chucky popcorn bucket but they sold out of it, which I was devastated because I really, really wanted it. Um, but yeah, she's going to try and get more. So fingers crossed we can get that. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys. And let me know whether I should take them out of the box or leave them in the boxes. What would you do? So please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And take care, guys. Bye.